No more pie in the sky thinking where you're thinking, I'm going to make $250,000 this year. Okay. Well, how many customers have you already gotten? It's already April 15th. Well, I have three customers and they all paid me $3,000 and my package is $1,000. And some simple math will show you $250,000 by a $1,000 package. You're going to have to sell 250 packages to actually make your goal. How exactly is that going to work if you can't even get a few customers from social media? And if your only lead source are people who refer you, or if your only lead source dried up, or if your podcast isn't producing, or social media is not your main engine for being able to grow this audience. Welcome to the Millionaire Maker Show a podcast helping entrepreneurs scale their businesses online to create more time, more money, more freedom, and more impact. Now, with over 20 years of business building, coaching, and consulting experience, here's your host, author, speaker, and creator of the Millionaire Maker Funnel, Lindsay Anderson. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this episode of the Millionaire Maker Show. I am your host, Lindsay Anderson. And today is a very time critical episode. You want to be hearing this before summer hits because really you only have six weeks till summer hits and absolutely everything changes. The game changes. Things become 10 times harder. And in this episode, I'm going to be covering that more, why that is, what your sales forecast is looking into the rest of the year. The fact is what you've already done is going to have a big impact on the rest of the year. What you do over the next six weeks will have a huge impact on the rest of your year. And today in the Millionaire Maker episode, I'll be walking you through what to do and why this is such a problem. Now, if you're new here to the Millionaire Maker show, I am your host, Lindsay Anderson, a 20-year veteran expert, helping people just like you profitably scale their online business. This is every, we cover everything you need to know here on the Millionaire Maker Show, everything from a million-dollar business blueprint all the way through how to handle that sales call. My proven methodologies, while they may not be the sexiest ones around, They are found in fundamentals and makes an online business available for absolutely everybody who is willing to put in the work. What I know about my methodologies is that they absolutely work. So that's what we're talking about here on the Millionaire Maker Show. I am always giving a live training. There's always a live training coming up because I want to educate experts on how to scale their online businesses. The fact is the job market is changing. AI is making sure of that. Everybody wants to leave their corporate America gig and marketers and influencers have made it seem so easy to scale your online business. The fact is it is very competitive and without a can-do attitude and a plan and a strategy and no more pie in the sky thinking, that is how a million dollar business and beyond is available to you. I give these live workshops all the time. All you need to do is head over to .com and and check out what our latest next event is going to be. I host these on Zoom. Sometimes I give a longer workshop or a shorter workshop. But these are your fast path to getting on board with these strategies, start implementing them in your business and have the amazing results that so many before you have had. Those individuals who are super frustrated with online marketing, they are frustrated with all of the tactics and they've tried all the coaches and the programs and everything else. And you just want the basics, the ones that work, even if they hurt a little bit. Because the fact is everybody is looking for the easy way. Everybody wants an online business and you have to work a little bit to get there. You have to be self-disciplined. The best way to do that is through systems and a step-by-step system so you get emotionally detached from your business. This is everything that I teach in those workshops. Head over to lindsay.com, get in on these workshops, start implementing my strategies today and find yourself with a business that has plenty of prospects, that have social media that works, that has a clear action plan to profit. That is exactly what you'll learn on those live events. 
Today's episode is all about profit producing tasks. The fact is we only have six critical weeks before summer hits and everything changes because your prospects suddenly have the perfect reason to say, maybe next time. Thanks for the help, but not right now. I've got summer to get to. Suddenly, if you do not have the momentum built up in your online business and you're trying to get this momentum in summer and you futz around for the next six weeks and you actually don't take action and get out of your own way, I'm sorry to tell you, but your year is pretty much already set in stone. And let me tell you why. If you do not take the next six weeks to really work on profit producing tasks, that means you'll be at June 1st. You will not be able to make that kind of momentum during June or July or August. It's going to be hard going and people are going to give you all the excuses to not show up to any of your events and you're going to have a really hard time taking an iterative approach to your marketing and getting the answers that you need to build momentum. By the time September and October and November rolls around, everybody else is selling. They are already selling their programs. So you have a lot of competition. And not only that, it's going to take you six weeks to two months to actually get something up and running. And by that time, it's November and December. And while they can be great times to sell in some niches, in general, sales is a long game and you are missing two critical weeks in December that you could be making sales, which leads you back to January. And so it is so important to get a running start in your online business. You still have time if you're listening to this, okay? It's time to get serious unless you can have a face-to-face -face discussion with yourself. Honest, talk with yourself, okay? No more pie in the sky thinking where you're thinking, I'm gonna make $250,000 this year. Okay, well, how many customers have you already gotten? It's already April 15th. Well, I have three customers and they all paid me $3,000 and my package is $1,000. And some simple math will show you $250,000 by a $1,000 package. You're gonna have to sell 250 packages to actually make your goal. How exactly is that going to work if you can't even get a few customers from social media? And if your only lead source are people who refer you, or if your only lead source dried up, or if your podcast isn't producing, or social media is not your main engine for being able to grow this audience. The beautiful thing about social media is it will grow with you when you invest in a solid social media strategy for the next six weeks and have a sales and marketing system to get those individuals off of social media and into your programs, then you will have a machine that is always constantly looking for customers for you. And so stop and invest in your business. It's time, you can't take a, lackada a lackadaisical approach to your business. Fact is it's too competitive. And if you're kind of in and you're kind of out, then you will not do what is needed to be done to actually build your business. So you have to bet on yourself. You have to take it seriously and be like, this is happening no matter what. That's actually an additional benefit of investing in a program like mine because your ass is on the line and you have to do the hard thing. I say this about my programs all the time. They're not sexy, okay? You're not gonna love absolutely everything you're gonna have to do, but I promise you they work. I also promise you, if you feel like they're too salesy or too markety or you're uncomfortable with anything that I'm offering you, I will tell you that is a problem with how you value yourself. Because if you valued yourself and what you bring to customers and you had an attitude like, oh, they have my problem that I can solve, run, do not walk to my programs. Oh my gosh, let me help you. Let me be of service to you in any way possible. I am also a professional business and a professional business email markets. They reach out to you. They make sure you're part of the process. They make sure all these things. Stop thinking that people don't know that you market. You just want to be marketing professionally. So let's get back to the topic at hand, which is what are those profit producing tasks that you need to be doing as we hit these next six weeks, very critical in your business. First of all, if you're in a startup or a growth phase, recurring revenue is how you're gonna sleep at night. Make sure that you have a recurring revenue model in your business because that is how you're actually going to be gaining momentum. 
What does that look like? That looks like signing people up for multiple months in your one-on-one program, making sure that in your group coaching program, you have a continuity program. So those individuals that you already sold will absolutely want to stay with you and continue to pay you and you do not have to resell them. Where you need to be spending your time is with your clients, improving your programs, getting those testimonials, making sure that you're getting those results and documenting your system as well as content. You've got to be running content to constantly be building that ecosystem and making your audience larger and larger. And finally, sales. 80% of your time, if you're in an online business making less than 250K a year, should be on sales. Embrace this. Accept it. If you're looking for something else, it's not. It's always sales. Sales is your answer to revenue. Sales is your answer to understanding your clients enough that you can make cookie cutter versions of them and get them to continually buy your stuff with effective marketing and effective sales and marketing mechanisms. Things you need to watch out as you are approaching the 250K point and you're not quite there yet. You're a perfectionist. You won't post on social media. You're a little bit shy. You care more about what other people think about you. You've got to get out of your own way and stop being a perfectionist. This is an iterative approach to marketing. Post it, look at it, and know that you're going to do better the next time. There is no way you're going to hit this out of the park the very first time you do it. Next, you are having a lack of focus. You don't know where to focus. Half the time you're in Canva, you're talking to your team, you're doing all of these things, and nothing gets done well, and there is no plan for the day. Next, it's all about finances. Chances are you're underpricing your services. You don't know what benchmarks are. You sell to your clients and you're not selling for enough. So you have to go and look for more sales when you could really just raise your prices, but you don't see it because your experience level tells you and all of your money mindset issues tell you that you can't charge any more than what you're charging right now. You can not see this for yourself. The other thing you're not doing is paying special attention to your finances. Where intention goes, energy flows. If you want to make more money, respect your money and pay attention to your money and treat your money with respect. I learned this from Susie Orman when I was growing up and really learned how to start respecting money. She said, I never crumple up dollar bills and put them in my purse because that says this is how I treat money and how I feel about the physical form of money. And it matters. These small things, these small actions are a representation of how you actually feel about something. And so when you take these dollar bills and you flatten them out and you put them nicely in your wallet, that is intent. You will take care of the money that is given to you. You respect money. You're not afraid of money. You treat money like a really hot chick that you want to date. And that is how you treat money and money will come to you. It is so important that you understand that and pay attention to your finances. Do the math that I mentioned recently. Don't have some pie in the sky philosophy about how much money you're going to make. Put that number on paper. I have no problem with that number, but look at your current package offering and simply do a division and see how many customers you need to get by the end of the year to actually get there. Then ask yourself, how many customers have I had up to this point? It will not compute. So use good numbers, face the facts about where you're at in business and know this is that business is a strategic game. Everybody is playing it for you to think or to maneuver like you're an expert in this game where everybody is looking for attention and everybody is looking for sales and everybody wants an online business just like you do. You can't think that you're just going to guess your way into this. It is too competitive. You have to get things very right. And that is exactly why I teach my iterative approach to marketing is for all of these reasons. Now, I know many of you who are listening to this. And really, I just have the most amazing program for those individuals who are past the multi six figure mark where we do your marketing. I watch your invite only event. We design your marketing assets together and an iterative marketing process that would take an individual a year because they have to do these iterations and they have to get comfortable and they have to understand what works. We can easily cut that in half by 75% because of the way I teach it, the way I'm able to understand your clients and the way that we've systemized this. And on the other side of that, you have a whole marketing system that is fueled by social media that is custom to you 
and your message. And it really takes those individuals who are scaling past the multi six figure mark to the next level without all of those marketing and finance and leadership and team headaches. It's a plan, it's a strategy, and it gets those robust marketing systems written down and implemented with you and your team in your business. It's a powerful program. We've seen such transformation. So a few things you need to be focused on if you are past the multi six figure mark is you don't want to be expanding too fast because then your program quality will drop. You want to make sure you're onboarding and training team members because the online marketing game as competitive as it is, you have to have a high quality product. You want people to be giving testimonials about you and your program. You want to perfect this process because the more systems you have, the better it is, the less you have to do, the less you have to figure out that problem again. At this stage, you really want to be leaning on technology integration and automating as many of these things as you can, because now is the time to do that. You know who your customer is, who you can make sales. We have marketing and sales systems that sort of kind of work, but let's perfect these guys and really put fuel on the fire and really bring in those sales. So you're going to be wanting to make strategic marketing decisions at this point, as well as always remembering to adapt to changes. Everything is changing online with online marketing, the latest AI videos. You can almost never tell now in the latest versions of AI if it is a human or a AI human actually talking to you in ads. And so live events and being live and that intimacy is going to be so important as the online landscape changes. It's no like everything that used to work will no longer work. You can keep up with it, but you have to be flexible. You have to be up for the game, to playing the strategic game and having strategic advisors to let you know what is out ahead of you. You will never see it coming. You don't have enough information and there's not enough time. So it is so essential. You tighten things up. You get strategic direction. You are currently at a place where you don't know what you don't know unless you're a marketing and a sales professional like Mike. There you have it. There is this week's episode of The Millionaire Maker Show. We tell you the truth here on The Millionaire Maker Show. They're not the sexiest strategies, the overnight, the one night stand. That's not what I'm offering you here. What I'm offering you here is tried and true basics, things that actually work. If you focus on the basics and you get really good at the basics, that's the system. That's professional. That's what you're going for. That's scalability. So you have to do those little daily tasks consistently. And thank you so much for joining me for this episode. If you enjoy this podcast, please leave us a review out there wherever you are listening to this. It allows us to, to bring you the truth about what it takes to build an online marketing sales machine, what is required, how it's available to you. As long as you do the work, it will work. Thank you for your time and listening in. Looking forward to seeing you next week and at my next live event. Thank you for listening to The Millionaire Maker Show with online business consultant and creator of The Millionaire Maker Funnel, Lindsay Anderson. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until next time.